Carmine Galante was known as many things. A mafia powerhouse, a heroin kingpin, a feared killer. And it looks like we can add Matchmaker to this list. Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Another quick one today, where we're going to be looking at Carmine Galante and his plans to form an allegiance with Carmine Persico, the boss of the Colombo family. As mentioned in one of my previous videos, Carmine Galante had an appetite for cruelty. In Montreal, he once smashed beer bottles on a restaurant floor and made a busboy dance barefoot on the shards. New York Post journalist Steve Dunleavy was told another story of Galante's vicious nature. In an interview with Geraldine Ganji, an owner of a gin mill called The Postmortem on South Street, she recalled, When we were young, we were with a bunch of the girls at a restaurant in Prince Street. Some were going with local wise guys on the Lower East Side. Lilo the Cigar walked in and one of the girls said something innocent that got him mad. He threw a plate of boiling hot pasta into her face. She was scarred up pretty bad. His temper was scary. In an interview with Dunleavy, Carmen Galante remembers his younger days with a different perspective. When I was growing up on the Lower East Side, I was a very sensitive kid. But if someone came on strong to me, I would come back pretty strong. This sensitive side could be said to have been reserved for his favourite child, Nina, who he supposedly adored. Nina Galante may have been the apple of her homicidal father's eye, but allegedly things weren't always hunky-dory between the dad and his daughter. According to one newspaper article, Galante even triggered his daughter, Nina Galante, into making a serious attempt at suicide. Nina Galante took a massive overdose because the old man put hoods to her boyfriend, a non-Sicilian who Lilo didn't want to touch his daughter. After her father had come out of his 12-year prison sentence in 1974, their relationship seemed repaired. And according to mob expert Jerry Capisi, throughout the 1970s, Galante was largely chauffeured around by his daughter Nina. During the famous commission trial, evidence emerged that Carmine Galante was planned to have his daughter Nina marry little Ali boy Persico, the son of Colombo family boss Carmine Persico. Apparently, Nina had a crush on little Ali boy. The marriage would have been a political move by Galante, similar to that of when Tommy Lucchese and Carlo Gambino's children, Francis and Tommy, married in 1962. According to Frank DiMatteo's excellent biography on Persico, it is stated that at one point Persico and Galante even shared a cell together in prison. Another interesting point came out in the commission trial via informer Fred De Christopher, who'd been hiding Carmine Persico while he was on the lam. De Christopher said that Persico had told him that he was the only one on the commission to vote against killing Galante, with the snake quoted as saying, Quite frankly, I voted against him getting hurt. Amazingly, it has also surfaced that Carmine Galante had aspirations to actually have his daughter Nina inducted officially into the family, making her the first female made man in the American Mafia. Who knows if this is really true, but if Carmine Galante has succeeded in becoming his own version of Boss of Bosses, who would have really opposed his fanciful ideas? Like I said, just another quick one today. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.